star Jodie Sweden was seen in Los Angeles just days after she was pushed to the ground by an officer with the Los Angeles Police Department while she was protesting the Supreme Court Roe v. Wade ruling with a group in the downtown area of the city on Saturday afternoon. Sweden, 40, showed signs of bruising on her arms as she walked to her vehicle, but appeared otherwise unharmed following the incident with law enforcement officials over the weekend, which was captured on video by local photographer Michael Aid. She praised her fans across social media for the outpouring of encouragement and wrote in a story on Instagram, I've been overwhelmed with love and support, thank you. All I ask is that any anger, frustration, or newfound determination you may have, turn it into action. Whether that's protesting in the streets, assisting in mutual aid projects, donating to organizations that help women, LGBTQIA loved ones, our BIPOC community, and families, victims of police violence. There's so much to be done. I will be working on lists of places that could use support. But look in your community, too. Just jump in. We need each other. Cash we keep us safe. Sweden told E.S. Daily Pop that she had gathered with a group of activists and was protesting on Saturday when the incident occurred. I had my bullhorn, and they were walking me back kind of where everyone was, and I was walking and one of the officers just snatched my bag and tossed me forward, she said. In the video, the mother of two was seen wearing a black t-shirt and black leggings with a black backpack and a megaphone attached to her arm. At one point, Sweden, who starred as Stephanie Tanner in the 90s family sitcom Full House, seemed to be pushed from a dirt hill down to the ground. She skidded across the ground and her hat flew back on her head. A crowd gathered to help her stand up again. One protester could be heard screaming, What the F is wrong with you guys? Another asked, Jody, are you good? Sweden almost immediately stood up again, fixed her hat and joined in the chants with other protesters near the 101 freeway, No justice, no peace. We took care of the situation, she told Lonnie Love. We didn't use that as an excuse to do anything further. We continued our march. We were out there for probably another four or five hours marching through downtown. I was out Friday night as well with some friends, who were starting some peaceful actions. Sweden added, I think it's really important for people to get out there. I know a lot of people say we're in California, and it doesn't matter, but if those of us don't stand up for others who can't then I don't know what we're doing. When asked if she would be pressing charges against the officers, Sweeten said no, but stayed committed to her right to protest. I'll still be out there. I'll still keep going, she said. This is just part of what you do when you're committed to trying to do the best that you can. Following the incident, Sweeten told Fox News Digital, I'm extremely proud of the hundreds of people who showed up yesterday to exercise their First Amendment rights and take immediate action to peacefully protest the giant injustices that have been delivered from our Supreme Court. Our activism will continue until our voices are heard and action is taken. This will not deter us, we will continue fighting for our rights. We are not free until all of us are free. Fox News Digital contacted the Los Angeles Police Department for comment. In a statement to People magazine, the LAPD said, The LAPD is aware of a video clip of a woman being pushed to the ground by officers not allowing the group to enter on foot and overtake the 101 freeway. The force used will be evaluated against the LAPD's policy and procedure. As the nation continues to wrestle with the latest Supreme Court decision, the Los Angeles Police Department will continue to facilitate First Amendment rights, while protecting life and property. The decision made by SCOTUS on Friday effectively ended recognition of a constitutional right to abortion, which has been in place since 1973, and gives individual states the power to allow, limit or ban the practice altogether. 
Supreme Court Justices Samuel Alito, Clarence Thomas, Neil Gorsuch, Amy Coney Barrett and Brett Kavanaugh voted in favor of ending the landmark federal abortion protection. Chief Justice John Roberts did not approve of ending Roe. The majority has overruled Roe and Casey for one and only one reason, because it has always despised them, and now it has the votes to discard them, wrote Justices Stephen Breyer, Sonia Sotomayor and Elena Kagan in a joint, 59-page dissent. In overruling Roe and Casey, this court betrays its guiding principles. With sorrow, for this court, but more, for the many millions of American women who have today lost a fundamental constitutional protection, we dissent.